Good afternoon. Uh, I'm going to do another quick video now on Todoist. Um, I've talked about Todoist before, so I'm not going to start from scratch. I talked about Todoist both on my uh, YouTube uh, account and on my blog. Uh, so I'll concentrate on uh, talking about some of the features that I find most um, useful. Uh, so, one of the most important features I find in um, Todoist is the feature referred to as labels. So, what, what happens is when you create a task in Todoist, you can give it a label. And this is very important. I am a follower of GTD or getting things done. And in the getting things done philosophy, what you do is you create the context for each task and that context allows you to choose or to filter out um, all of the tasks that you can't do within a specific context and only focus on those that you can do. Uh, at any given instant of time I have between 150 to 200 active next tasks. It would be impossible for me to go through all of them to choose what tasks I need to do. Sometimes I are uh, Give a date to a task. For example, uh, if you see, I have three tasks scheduled for today in front of you. And th those are the tasks that I really want to do today. I I'm sure that I'm going to do these tasks. And sometimes I actually schedule um, time slots on my calendar for these tasks to make sure that I, I accomplish them. But for the majority of tasks, I do not have a set date for them. I do not, I do not have a slot on my calendar that says, for example, fix the light bulb at home or uh, get more milk for the baby. I don't have that. Um, but these are tasks that I would like to, to get done as soon as possible. And so I put them into my system without giving them specific dates. Um, again, if, if that were the only thing I needed, uh, if, if, I, if I did that without adding any additional information, uh, the tasks would get lost. Y you wouldn't be able to see them. They would, they would get lost in the middle of all the different um, uh, tasks that you have in your system, 200 tasks, 150 tasks, 300 tasks, it would be very difficult to zoom in on what you could do in a specific instant of time. So essentially what I do is I create labels, which are contexts. These contexts uh, can be two things. They can be an agenda, uh, which, can, which uh, uh, means that there are items which can only uh, be done or discussed in the presence of a specific person. So for example, I have tasks that I need my secretary to help me out with. And those tasks get the label secretary. Not, not at the moment, but, but, but these are the tasks that get the label secretary. So whenever my secretary wa walks into the office or I'm calling her on the phone, I can go into that specific context, secretary, and then I have a complete agenda, a complete breakdown of all the tasks I need her to do. And that, that way I never forget anything. I don't have to search my mind for a specific item. I just know what I need to do. Uh, similarly, for example, uh, let's assume uh, I have another, another uh, 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 um, list of agendas for the dean or the vice dean, any important person in my life, work or home life, that I need to communicate with or need to do work with, I have a label for that person so that when I, uh, I am in the presence of that person, I can go into that specific list, specifically customized, curated uh, with the items I need to address with, with him or her, and then I could uh, go ahead and, and process them. Uh, uh, so that's the first type of context I use in, 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 in getting things done and, and to do is, is a per person agenda. Each person that I have to uh, interact with has a label on a regular basis, of course, if I'm going to interact for one time only, I don't do this. But if you're going to interact on a regular basis and we have regular shared work, I need to have a label in my to-do list application that allows me to filter out from amongst 200 tasks I have, what tasks are specific to this person? 
Uh, I also have a set of tasks called errands. If you see my first label here is errands. These contains, um, these contain like a couple of items and these items can only be performed when I'm outside the house. That's why I call them errands. When I step outside the house, I'm walking in the street, I can perform the errands. Uh, so for example here, let's take a look, uh, pay a bill for cleaning car, look up uh, uh, the national ID, get a spotlight for the guest bathroom. These are the items that I would do when I am in the street, I'm out and about and I, 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 I'm ready to do stuff. Then I can go into that list as soon as I step outside of the house, I go into my errands list, look at the, the, the items there, and then I know what I need to do. Again, this is, a, this is a subset. It's only a small subset of the items uh, that are in my to-do list, but they are in the context of being out and about, being outside the house. Uh, similarly, I have a toddler and uh, two twins. I've been blessed by um, three beautiful girls. And sometimes I need to do work and, and it's not possible for me to do this work unless my toddler and baby are asleep because they would, uh, when I'm home and uh, I'm about, they want to play with me, they want to be with me, um, uh, and I, I have to give them my undivided attention. And sometimes I need to do tasks, and these tasks can only be done when they're asleep. So I've created uh, a new sub-item, a new context, which is um, baby asleep. And as you can see, I have some items here, uh, some, some maintenance items like uh, cutting my toenails and fingernails, which is weird to have on my to-do list, but I do have them. I have all items that I consider maintenance items like uh, taking out the trash or, 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 or grooming or, or, or mowing the lawn in the garden or watering the potted plants or putting on the drip irrigation system. Uh, these are all maintenance tasks that I keep inside my uh, to-do to list application. And these are tasks I can do when the babies are asleep. I can, while they're asleep, I can go outside and water the lawn or I can search for a USB-C charger at home. I lost it somewhere, I'm looking for it right now or I can sweep the garden shed, or I can cut my uh, fingernails or toenails. So these are the things I need to do uh, <coughs> when something happens. In this case, my baby's asleep. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be baby asleep. You could choose uh, uh, an item that makes sense for you when a specific event happens. Maybe you get into your car, or maybe you, 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 uh, you're going to call it a night, or maybe you are in the kitchen. You can have, you can have an event or uh, a label for, for, for something that, that, that needs to happen for you to do specific tasks and then populate that with the tasks you want. Uh, another, another idea I use is I, I have the time of day. So in the morning, I do a couple of things. I need to do them regularly and I don't want to forget anything. So I put them here, that, for example, checking my junk folder, junk email folder, checking my email, checking my SMS and WhatsApp or whatever. So these are things I do in the morning. So when I wake up in the morning, after I have breakfast, tea and whatever, I go into that, into the morning routine. I, I filter out everything else I need to do and just focus on what I need to do in the morning. Uh, of course, the, the taking the showers is, is, is scheduled for 7 a.m. because it's the first thing I do in the morning. But still, these items are not necessarily, um, um, fix at a specific time, but then I need to do them in the morning. So I do that. Uh, as you've seen in my previous video, I do uh, inbox zero. And, and when I pr process my um, morning to-do list items, one of them is to check junk mail and check my email inbox. And during that time, which is usually 10.30 to 11, I empty my inbox. I go to e uh, inbox zero. So let's, let's recap. You have items or labels for specific persons you want to talk to. Um, you have labels for events like babies asleep, uh, we're having dinner, thing, things like that. And you have labels for times of day, morning, evening, afternoon, when you're in a specific frame of mind, a specific mood that you want to work on. Uh, another thing I need to do is, is when I have uh, something physically in my hand. So for example, if I have a, a telephone in my hand, I am in, in phone call mode and um, I need to do things which involve phone calls. At the moment, I'm just going to order uh, stuff from the supermarket. So I'm going to order toothpaste and a toddler toothpaste. But still, 
anything that needs to be accomplished while you have a telephone in your hand, you put that into the calls label. So again, you hold the telephone, you have a couple of, uh, a couple of minutes, uh, three minutes, and you're going to make phone calls. You have the phone in your hand, you're not doing any other work. Call up your calls list from Todoist, see what calls you need to, you need to make, and then choose from among those because you're now in phone call mode. And you want to look at only tasks which are under the category of phone call mode. Uh, similarly, when I'm at my computer, I need to do tasks which are only associated with my computer. So I have a label called add computer. So these are the things I need to do while I'm at my computer. I do a lot of things when I'm at my, at my computer. So, uh, but when I, I booted the computer and the computer is on, I go into that item, see what I need to do and pick from amongst them what I need to do at the moment at the computer. I have another item called at home, which is which consists of all the things I could do only when I'm at home. I can do these things uh, while I'm outside. So, for example, do the dishes, take some my my blood pressure medication, um, uh, check if I need some water from my um, um, water dispenser. All of this is, is stuff I only I can only do at home. So, if I'm outside at work, doesn't happen quite often during this pandemic. But in the past, if I'm outside my house. I don't look at this list because it is futile. I will not be able to do anything on the list unless I'm at home. Similarly, I have a list called at work, which needs to be changed now to at desk, to be honest, because I'm rarely at work. But still, uh, this is a list of thing, uh, things I could do at work. When I have my iPhone, these are the things that I do uh, uh, when, I, when I have my iPhone. Uh, 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 when I'm at the pharmacy, at the cinema, inside my car, at the supermarket, all of these, all of these things are labels which allow me to sort, to slice and dice my tasks any way I want them. So I can only see a subset. I, I told you I have currently, if we go into all of my tasks, I'm not going to do that because it's, it'll be overwhelming. But if we go into my tasks, I have between 150 to 200 tasks. I cannot possibly intellectually manage all of that. So I need to see subsets of these. And that is the beauty of GTD contexts. So, so if a task can only be done within a particular context, give it that label, the label of the context. And when you are in that context, you're at your computer, you're in your car, you're at the supermarket, you're in the pharmacy, uh, you're in front of the dean, uh, you could then choose the context from your to-do to list task, uh, to-do list manager, I apologize, and that will just give you the set of tasks that can be done within that context. Let me show you how you could do this. So I'm going to do a quick add, which is uh, the shortcut for that is Q on Todoist. And let us assume, so that's a quick add um, item. And let's assume I want to have dinner today. So I'm going to say have dinner. It's a personal item, so I'm going to put it into my personal project. And now comes the time that I put the context. Uh, I can only have dinner if I'm at home right now. So I'm going to say at home. No, that's at desk. At home. There, done. So now I'm going to have dinner at home. If you go to the at home um, folder, you will find have dinner. Of course, I don't go into that much detail. I don't quite have dinner in my uh, to-do list application, but you get the idea. Once you're entering it into your system, as, as at, the, at the time you're entering your task into the system, give it a project to, to go into, whether it's personal, whether it's a, a work project, whether it's a registration project, just give it a label. And at the same time, give it a context. And that context will allow you then to zoom in on the subset of tasks that you can perform uh, when you are <coughs> in the specific context that you want. I hope this video has allowed you to. Uh, uh, gain some knowledge about Todoist. I do want to mention that uh, you can only use labels if you have the premium version of Todoist, which I think it's more than worth it. It has saved me hours of work, and I'm sure if you try it, you'll be very happy with it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment until our next video, and I will try to answer them as soon as I can.